Today on the channel, we're diving deep into Samsung's One UI, the user interface that gives Galaxy phones their unique look and feel. One UI has come a long way since its debut, but the changes have been gradual. With each update, Samsung has refined the experience, making it smoother and more user-friendly. However, whispers on the tech web suggest a dramatic shift might be on the horizon with the upcoming One UI 7.0 update. This update could be a significant departure from the past with a complete overhaul of the user interface. One of the rumored changes that has Tom's wagging is a bold redesign of app icons, particularly for Samsung stock apps. Currently, Samsung's app icons are known for their clean and simple aesthetic, often favoring a single color scheme. Think of the iconic Red Gallery app with its white flower logo, but a recent leak has thrown a curveball, hinting at a possible embrace of color in one UI 7.0. The leak showcases a potential redesign of the gallery icon. Instead of the familiar red background, the new design features a white background with each flower petal bursting with a unique color. The overall vibe is quite reminiscent of Google's app icon design language. This might just be the first glimpse into a much larger transformation. If the leak proves accurate, we could see similar vibrant makeovers for other core Samsung apps like email, notes, camera, and the list goes on. Let's be honest, leaks should always be approached with a healthy dose of skepticism. This leaked icon design might not be the final iteration, or it could even be scrapped entirely before the official release of One UI 7.0. However, it serves as a fascinating window into Samsung's potential design direction for the future. While the rumors of colorful icons are certainly intriguing, Samsung understands that not everyone craves a vibrant app drawer. Thankfully, current versions of One UI allow you to apply the overall color theme to your app icons, ensuring a uniform and aesthetically pleasing look. We fully expect and hope that One UI 7.0 will continue to offer this option for users who prefer the classic monochrome aesthetic. The leaked icon design is just one piece of the One UI 7.0 puzzle. Rumors suggest the update might bring a plethora of other significant changes to the user experience. While we don't have concrete details yet, it's safe to say Samsung is gearing up for a major shakeup. So what are your thoughts? Does the prospect of colorful app icons on your Galaxy phone excite you? Or do you find beauty in the current minimalist design? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things tech. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, 
reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops. This chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more. We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFX 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFX 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFX 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization, in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So. What does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFX 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16 gigabytes RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.